Hey everyone. It's Tuesday, the day after I vlogged yesterday. Um, I had to come up with some better Dewey Decimal System of how to number these because I don't know what day it is. But I am not feeling well this morning. And I was like all makeup up yesterday and like feeling good. And I think part of why I'm not feeling well, I'm hoping a large part of why I'm not feeling well, is the fact that it's like a nor'easter outside and it's raining. And uh, it is true that like when the barometric pressure drops, your body does um, physically have reactions. It's funny, I, have, <laughs> I wasn't crying all day, you know? <laughs> frustrating is it's it's a stupid weather and I've been hurting for hours and I'm stubborn and I don't want to take Tylenol but I don't feel good today so one of the things I noticed when I moved to the Boston area was it doesn't rain a lot here <laughs> not like drought wise but I lived upstate New York. I lived in upstate New York um, for 17 years. And uh, it rains a ton in that area where I was living, like almost comparable to like Seattle. Um, and you don't realize that when you're in it all the time that it's just like overcast all the time. <laughs> um, and then I moved here and uh i was like oh I, I the first time i used my wipers was like months after moving here we moved in april or it was april and i just noticed how long it had been since i had used my wipers and i'm noticing like this is the first time it's rained since surgery which is a long time or at least rained like all day rain like, we, we have this nor'easter. I think there might be two of them. It's supposed to rain all week. I didn't think anything of it whatsoever. But it is having a very large effect on me. And I'm not happy. And I'm uncomfortable. And last night, um, I did my PT exercises on the floor with the cane. And I put a pillow under my head, or under my, well, my head and my neck. But I didn't put a pillow underneath my shoulders. Because I just wanted to be able to lay on the floor with my shoulders touching the floor. Which is such a stupid thing that it's like... <laughs> it's something that people that don't have something wrong don't even think about. The ability to lay on the floor and, and have your shoulders touch the floor and have your elbows touch the floor. Like after your torso is cored out from a double mastectomy, it really hurts. Even almost 10 weeks out, it really hurts. So I guess I, 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 I tried. <laughs> I was able to do my um, two sets of 10 reps and then go to sleep. Part of my mistake is that I'm doing PT too late in the day. I have a, a, a reminder that goes off on ALEXA. Um, like in the morning at 10 to do my exercises. And I wish I was more disciplined. You would think after like almost 50 years, I'd be more disciplined about things. Like, yeah, I'll set reminders. And my phone at 10 o'clock said, <laughs> do your exercises. And it's now, what, 10.35. Oh, and I get to take my tamoxifen in 25 minutes. yippity doo -dah. Um, I have one alarm that goes off at 10. And then another one that goes off at 4. I should do my exercises at 4, but I, but I didn't. Um, I do them before bed, which is a stupid time to do them, but I, I'm still, I'm really tired from the marching band festival that was so happy that I went, <laughs> so, so happy that I went, but it did take a toll on me and it frustrates me because, um, 
I don't know. There's the, there's a weird energy. Like if you're if if you're not aware of how marching bands work, there's such an energy to to being around that. I'm a very musical person, and um, when you mean what was it like two years ago? I think, or maybe it was three years ago. I don't know, remember what. Was one festival. I'm all over the place. Sorry. One festival that I went to. I remember after my kids left. Um, it wasn't my weekend with my kids, so um, I didn't have to pick them up from school. So I stayed at the Laurent Van Fest Festival like till they closed. It was like, <laughs> it seemed like 12 hours. I don't know however long it was, but I just stayed and listened to band after band after band. And it's just so amazing. Like from these small bands of 20 kids up to these large bands of hundreds of them. And, and you can watch videos of it. It's just not the same. <coughs> When you're there in person and literally your seat is vibrating and you could feel it in your in, in your feet and you could feel it in your whole body you could feel it in your chair it's just amazing and I was comfortable sitting in there it's the driving really that did me in it was the driving through Boston it was the driving for it was probably like 35 minutes or something each way um something like that it was just a lot and I, I, I wouldn't not have done it at all. There, there's a concert coming up at my son's school too, my older son who's in college, which I went to once before and it's an amazing concert and I really, really, really wanna go. But I'm like, how the hell do I drive an hour and a half to get there? I can't. And it's during the week too, like, and at this point, like, I don't even want to ask anyone. Like, I could see if somebody could go with me, but that's hard during the week. It's hard during the week, and honestly, at this point, I'm just getting so sick of asking people for stuff. Mostly because there's just, like, it's happening over and over and over again, where people say they're going to go do something, and then they don't. And especially when it comes to food, like I'm, I'm having a hard time with that. Like, I'm, I'm not taking it personally. I get that stuff pops up, but it's like when you're relying on food and it's just not there. It, it just it sucks. And I wish I could just take a pot out and boil some freaking spaghetti or something stupid. But even just putting water in a freaking pot and getting it onto the stove. It's something I can't do without modifications. I have to, I had to put the pot on the counter, fill it with water, and then drag it onto the burner. I can't lift the pot with the, with the water in it. Which just makes me mad because after 10, almost 10 weeks, it's like I can't make spaghetti. Even to make hot tea, even to boil water. Like when the tea, you know, I have to be consciously aware of how much water I put in the tea kettle to know how heavy it will be when I'm done. And I was talking yesterday all about the listening to your body, listen to your body. This is why I'm in my corner again. <laughs> because I am listening to my body. My body is saying to sit my ass down. And to cuddle up with my blanket and like not get up. My body was saying this morning, you know, like, okay, I'm going to have the car today and, and that way I'm not trapped and I can get up and leave if I want to. So I treated myself to breakfast this morning and then my body reminded me why I don't eat fried foods and bacon because <laughs> I feel so nauseous right now. It's not because the tamoxifen is, is, is totally based on what I had for breakfast. <laughs> this is not what I normally eat. I ordered, I ordered waffle fries, bacon, two over medium eggs, and and French toast. I never eat like meals that big anymore. I can't. Or the amount of fried stuff. It was just it was a lot of food. The best part of it was when I cut kiwi after to eat because at least it was something relatively healthy. And I want to make some tea to settle my stomach.
but I don't want to cry when the tea's done. And I go to grab it with my right arm and my right arm just hurts. My sh right shoulder really, really hurts today. And it hurt yesterday, so <sighs> last night, um, I was up a lot last night. I got to like 7.30 at night and I was exhausted. I, I never go to bed that, I used to be a night owl. Like I, I don't go to bed that early, but I was so exhausted. And fine, I probably need a couple of days to recoup from all the excitement from this <laughs> weekend. But it just reminds me that like I've gone through all this stuff and I'm not myself and I'm making zero eye contact, sorry, but that's whatever. It just frustrates me. So I, I slept, I had texts again pressed up against my chest. I slept last night with uh, my white, my, my oh so sexy, you know, Velcro bra back on. Cause it does give me nice compression. And it's the one I got from the, from plastics. Um, well, one of the three I got from them. Um, it's nice cause there's no seams on the side. But again, the zipper in the front just gets irritating. I think, like, I, I had that one bra from True and Company. And um, I, I like how it fits. Um, sometimes, like, on the belly part, it rolls up. So I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to solve that. They have different styles. Um, but it's a nice break from the ones that have a zipper in the middle. <coughs> um because the zipper ones in the middle feel like you have cardboard in the middle. And then when you put that true bra on and it feels like the material is so soft. And it feels like almost like you're wearing nothing. It's it's nice. Yet it still keeps you, um, you know, keeps all the pieces where they're supposed to be. So I slept with the bra last night to have compression and to not be able to move. And then I, I had texts like pushed up against me and it was pouring pretty badly. I mean, it's a nor'easter. It's a pretty big storm that we have that I'm hoping is easing up because right now it's not pouring, but who knows? Um, I don't think it's supposed to stop raining for several days. Um, but I was achy as I slept. I'm still having weird tingling in my left hand and my fingertips. And then yesterday I cut like my finger um, opening a plastic container, which was just dumb. I don't have it in my right hand. For whatever reason, I have some tingling in my left hand. I, I don't know what that's about. I did bring up to PT to let her know. I don't know. I ordered that, um, thanks to my friend Laureen, because I couldn't remember what it was called. And as I'm talking about it, I still don't remember what it was called. The thing that you breathe in with the balls in it, it's supposed to, like, exercise your lungs. Like, my breathing to me seems fine, but, um, she wants me to do that. The PT wants me to do that for exercises, um, for my breathing and for my lungs. Um, I mean, compared to when I had COVID, I feel like my lungs were fine, but you know, couldn't hurt. It's like 15 bucks. It's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, I, I was, I had the tingling in my arm last night. I just could not get in a, in a comfortable position. It's like everywhere that I laid, it was just achy and uncomfortable around my neck and, and, you know, in, in my chest and, um, I wanted to go on my right side, but my shoulder, my right shoulder isn't bothering me. So I'm like, I can't sleep on my right side if my right shoulder is bothering me. And maybe that's why I have the tingliness because I keep sleeping on my left side. So I'm obviously compressing my left arm as I'm sleeping. I don't know. It's like, you think sleep should be relaxing, <laughs> but I can't seem to get in a comfortable position of how to sleep. And I just try so many different positions and it's just frustrating. And then I get up and I sit up and I use my, you know, my abs to sit up and I'm, and I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh wow, I meant to weigh myself this morning. Cause I'm like, I'm, I'm losing weight, not in an unhealthy way. I'm just getting back to myself, which makes me feel good that like I put my sweats on today and, and like, um, I didn't have love handles, which was awesome. <laughs> and I meant to weigh myself, but then I was like out the door, um, dropping my son at school and, um, Driving. Driving is just so hard. The, the, it was pouring out and I went to put my purse in the back seat. 
So inadvertently, you know, I mean, just picture it. Inadvertently, I take my right arm and I swing my purse in the back seat. And I'm like, <gasps> not even realizing what the hell I just did. It's just a movement that you wouldn't even think about. And whatever, like it, it hurt, obviously. I used my left hand primarily to get him to school and I just stopped until my arm felt better and I was able to drive. And then, um, what did I do? I, I did something and I, and I went to reach over. Oh, I was donating clothes and I put the bags away. That was like easy to do. But then when I went back in the car, I have my pillow that goes in front of me and I, I, I had put it on the passenger side in the front, like on the passenger seat. And I, all I did was like take my right arm and move it out to go grab the pillow from the passenger seat. And it hurts. I mean, think about all the times that you get in a car and like you just instinctively take your right arm and just move it to grab something or to put something on the seat next to you. That hurts so much for me to do. I can't do that without moving my torso along with it. And it is not a normal motion for me to move my torso. And when I move my torso, obviously like my boobs move with them. So like, um, and when I say boobs, like I don't mean like the implants. I, I mean like the whole structure that is the like rectangle of where my boobs are. It's mostly muscular, it's not my actual boobs. It's that, that, that rectangle of, of crazy. But it's, it's not a way I'm used to moving. And then I get home and I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll treat myself to this breakfast that is like, you know, way too much. <laughs> whatever, I'll, I'll, whatever. But even from like having breakfast, it's like I have to consciously think about what I'm ordering and how I'm going to eat it because I don't have the motion in my right arm. Last night, I wrote a card to a friend of mine. Um, it's the most I've written. It wasn't very long of a card, but it's the most I've written since surgery. And it's hard for me to write with pens, so I use like like flares or thin markers or something, like super fine tip markers, because you don't have to press so hard. But it made me frustrated that I'm like intentionally thinking about every letter that I'm writing, like individual letter, like D-E-A-R, you know? And I look at it and I'm like, my handwriting, I usually write really fast and kind of sloppy. Um, why I was a math teacher, because I can write numbers pretty neatly, but <laughs> my regular handwriting is like, it's fine. I can write neatly, but I just usually just write fast and whatever. Um, but I looked at the card and I'm like, that's not even my handwriting. And then I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to write. I get a couple words out and I'm like, no, I, I have to think about how I'm writing. And I remember like weeks ago, I asked someone to pick up uh, a box or two boxes of thank you cards so that I could start writing thank you notes to people that are like getting me gifts cards or, or sending gifts or, 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 you know, just calling or, or, you know, helping me out in whatever way. And I'm like, part of my own physical therapy that I'm going to do with, with my arm is like writing a thank you note or writing thank you notes. I have yet to open either package. But like yesterday, I did write the one card out. And between the writing the card out and the PTA exercises, it was just too much. So here I sit, like I take my meds in like five minutes and I have to get up and do something then. My stomach is like not agreeing with me because of this breakfast, not because of anything, you know, cancer related. Um But I have to make a conscious like decision as to what I'm going to do today because I want to do dishes. I know if I do dishes, my arm is gonna be out of commission for at least an hour. And it's like, you know, when you 
consciously have to plan your day out about the activities that you're going to be doing with your dominant hand, it really sucks. And I have to plan it so that way I do the dishes early enough that I have time to recoup before I get behind the wheel and, and, and pick my son up from school. The lesson being that I'm not ready to drive every day. It's too much. I have PT tomorrow, so um, I'm not going to drive tomorrow. I can walk to PT. I'm not going to drive tomorrow. I, my arms need a break. And what really sucks is that, like, I used to drive. I drove to Florida three times. Like, I used to love driving, getting behind the wheel and, like, putting my cowboy hat on and putting the windows down, the music blaring and just, you know, being one of those cool people with my aviator shades on and my arm up like on the steering wheel. And that's not me right now. Maybe it's just as well as October because it's going to get cold out soon and I wouldn't do that with the windows open anyway, but I miss that. It's just, you know, I, I was thinking as, as time goes on, there'll be less to vlog about, but it's, you know, it is such a, I don't want to use the marathon analogy. It is such a freaking ass roller coaster. And I have my shit pretty much together. Created years ago, I didn't have my shit so much together, but I've done a lot of work to, myself <laughs> to get my shit together. And I, I finally get it together and now I have to have it together in a totally different way. And then Mother Nature comes along and is like, you know, I'm going to give you rain. And rain is good. But rain is not good for your joints. And it is not good after you've had surgery. So that's where I am. I'm going to I'm gonna listen to my body right now. Because my stomach is saying like, oh, my stomach is not happy right now. But I just wanted to check in and let you know that this is what I'm feeling. I'm venting <laughs> and I'm going to call, I'm going to use my phone a friend. I'm going to call one of my friends. I I feel this, um, oh, my stomach really hurts. I feel this connection, um, like religiously today for some reason. I don't know why, but I need to like reach out to a couple of my friends and, and or really one in particular I'm thinking of who prays a lot and I just need her wisdom and her words right now. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I got. This is where I am. It's a roller coaster. I never know how to sign these things off. I don't know. I mean, my, my hair looks decent today. <laughs> that's all I got. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's it. It's a roller coaster. Tomorrow I'll probably have a great day. Who knows? We shall see. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.